Hello everyone and welcome to the 2018 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. My name is Andy Aubrey and my co-host for this wonderful annual event is Judy Davis. Judy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. A little hot. It's warm, but it's nice. The sun is out. We're, We're here looking for forward a good to a great reason. event. And that reason, of course, is to reflect and remember those who fought and gave their lives for the freedoms we enjoy and we so thank them. Yeah, this parade is uh, a year in the making, uh, a Memorial Day parade committee has been working hard all year. Um, we expect about 700 participants in this year's parade. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to seeing, There's, I think there's some new changes, but a lot of the same traditions. It is a very uh, solemn day, and uh, we're just honored to be here. It is. And you dip, You put a lot of work into this. You're part of this parade committee this year. So uh, you're, the fruits of your labor will be on this place. Soon. Yes. We look forward to that. Yes. Cool. All right. Well, Judy, we see a police car coming down the road. So we will bring you the start of the parade. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey, what's that pin you're wearing? Oh, this. I wear it to remember my dad. He was in the Army. I wear this pin for my husband, who was killed in action. My son served his country proudly. Not a day goes by that I don't think about him. She was my wife and best friend. Remember. Respect and honor our fallen military heroes and the sacrifice and strength of surviving families who wear the gold star pins. Imagine the action and see nearly a century of Michigan aviation heritage at the Selfridge Military Air Museum. Enjoy a walk around the air park and bring your cameras for a most authentic military aviation history experience. We're open to the public April through October on weekends, Memorial Day and Independence Day from 12 noon to 4.30 p.m. Group tours for adults and kids of all ages can be arranged, so call us today at 586-239-6768 or 586-239-5035. Welcome back to the 2018 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. Andy Aubrey here with Judy Davids. And Judy, we got a police vehicle that's not in my rearview mirror. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, this is the, the anniversary of the Royal Oak Police Department. Did you know that? I did not, but you told us. Off with the Royal Oak Police Honor Guard. Uh, they're, they're often uh, at the beginning of a lot of parades in the city. Um, there are, I think there's five of them here today. Yes, that's true. The uh, Royal Oak Police Department celebrating uh, a century of service, established 1918. Their vision is to build Michigan's premier police agency, one that is a recognized leader for efficiency, effectiveness, innovation, and public safety. And this year, uh, we have uh, Deputy Chief Mike Frazier of the Royal Oak Police Department, and he's walking several students that entered a poster contest. Okay. And they're all displaying their posters. And they're all, there's a number of girls uh, in, tr uh, in Girl Scout Troop 75330, right. I hope I said that. You did. <laughs> um, submitted posters that their troop is also uh, marching with the police this year. Very so. good. Royal Oak Middle School. There's 22 girls in that troop, by the way, and this is their eighth year of marching in the parade. There we go. There we can see the police banner. And there's the kids with all their posters. Very nice. Good job, yes. ladies. Thank you. They look fantastic. What a day. You mentioned it at the outset. We are really blessed today. Yeah, it's about, it was about 74 at parade time. Oh, and, uh-oh, I see somebody very special coming. It's Romy. He's on, I, maybe we can get a better oh, camera shot. He's on He's top coming. of the, uh, there's Romy right there. Romy's the new mascot for the city of Royal Oak. You know, Romy was originally showed up at the animal shelter. We adopted him. We loved him so much. We've made... Well, we're not actually sure if it's a he or she. We've <laughs> made Romy our city mascot. Oh, very nice. There he is. Okay. He or she. We're not sure. It. <laughs> Gender neutral animal. Thank you. 
Well, after Romy and the fire department, we are coming into view the VFW Acorn Post 1669 Auxiliary. They're the largest and oldest war veteran service organization, of course. The VFW is, has a long and proven history of providing vital assistance and support to America's service men and women. And after the VFW is the Royal Canadian Legion Post 84. There they are. Yeah, Post uh, 84's home has always been here in Royal Oak. Uh, the organization moved it uh, to its current location, which is on 11 Mile in 1953. Their membership includes Canadian U.S. military, uh, Royal Canadian Mounted Police, um, and, and also relatives and uh, and other members. It's, it's actually a club that's open to the general public. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This is the American um, Legion here and their motorcycles. Uh, the American Legion is also coming up on an, a centennial anniversary. Uh, they were, the Legion was first formed in 1919 and they were chartered by Congress that same year. Let's see who we've got now. Yeah, they've also oh. at uh, 50, 253, they've got World War II veterans, Korean, Vietnam, Desert Storm, Iraq, Afghanistan, some still serving. Let's see here. Uh, we had some Cub Scouts. I think we missed uh, 1604 there briefly, and then the... Uh, S some, of the some of the members of the Legion have won significant uh, badges and awards, including Purple Hearts, Bronze Stars, Silver Stars. Okay. If we're still, we're still looking at, no, here. I think we're still looking at the American Legion here. Yeah, 253. You gotta love calling these parades. They, they still, still. Slide these things in us, but uh, yes, yeah, this still is still continuing Legion. with the American Legion. Um, you know, like I said, they're a very old group and very significant group in our community. They have they they even sponsor a, a Cub Scout group, which walked by us earlier. The American Legion post here in Royal Oak is, is located on Main Street, uh, just north of Catalpa. It's, it's officially called the Frank Wendland Post 253. And this was the uh, Disabled American Veterans here, Chapter 19 from South Oakland. They are made up of the Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard, veterans of the Many of the wars we've mentioned, we thank them for their service. Next up is uh, the Air Force Junior Reserve Officers. Yep, uh, the United States Air Force Junior Reserve Officers Training Corps is dedicated to building better citizens for America through programs focused on teamwork, leadership, and patriotism. There are nearly 900 U.S. Air Force Junior ROTC uh, programs in the nation training over 120,000 cadets. And I think we have our Grand Marshal. Yes. Let's see who's in the first car. Is it James? It is, it's James McCory. You know, he's 94 years old. Awesome. He's lived in Royal Oak. Um, he served in World War II in the United States Navy uh, in the uh, Pacific. Yeah, Guadalcanal. And he's uh, he was and in the construction battalion known as the Seabees after entering service in 1943. And he's followed by Carol Hennessy, who's a Longtime member of the Royal Oak Memorial Society, but best known for being the former chairperson of this very parade. And it's an honor to have her here. She did a great 
job for more than a decade or, or almost a decade. And um, she's joined by her husband, Bob. Yeah, Carol Hennessy. Shout out to Carol. She was synonymous with this parade for many years. And now we have the Royal Oak Marching Band. It's a hot day to be wearing a wool uniform, so <laughs> yes, let's it is. take our hats off to them. We'll take our hats off to them and uh, see if we can give them a little listen. Sounds good. Fantastic. Good call today. They're the um, Ravens marching band is led by uh, Dave Jensen. Uh, they play at all the home football games, festivals, invitations. Uh, we're very proud of our Royal Oak High School marching band. And you know what? These kids are really also committed to public service and to honoring those who have served. It's a very it's a very uh, important part of the reason why they're here. They sound great. Yep, they got up early. They came to play for us today and we thank them for that. And they've got to be awful hot, so we're really um, appreciative. And they're followed by the Royal Oak Eagles. And the Eagles model is, do you know what it is? Uh, is it people helping people? It is. I and guess. they do that. They donate to multiple chari charities to help people. Um, you know, they're, they're people with cancer, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's uh, spinal injuries, heart disease, diabetes. They're out there in front of all those issues. And they're also really actively involved in helping Gilda's Club right here in Royal Oak. Gilda's Club. Phenomenal. And they're followed by the uh, Knights of Columbus. Yeah, these guys are probably a little warm, too. Yes, I would imagine. <laughs> they're awfully warm. The Knights of Columbus have been um, active here in Royal Oak and supporting our Royal Oak community since 1925. And then behind them, we have the Ezra Parker chapter. And where would this parade be without the Ezra Parker chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution? They promote patriotism, historic preservation, and education. And a couple of them are uh, riding uh, in a 1938 Chrysler Royal Sedan. Nice. It's been fully restored, and it looks really great. Yep, that's a little different than the... Uh, you know, some of the new Dodge Charger SRTs. Yes, it sure is. Down the road we have, looks like the uh, the Shrine Highlanders Pipe and Drum Corps. We have a little gap. It's kind of nice. You know, these parades, they run, they run. People are running. They're always running. I'm not sure where they're running to, but we have a, we have a nice pace set on this parade. It's a director's dream, in fact, I'm sure, in the truck at the moment, but... These Shrine Highlanders, one of the many units of the Detroit Shriners supporting Shrine Hospitals for Children with Disabilities throughout the United States. Yes, yeah, Shriners Hospitals for Children provide specialized care for children with orthopedic conditions, burns, spinal cord injuries, industries, spinal cord injuries. Industry, injuries. Injuries, easy for you to say. Sorry. And um, cleft lip and palate. Um, regardless, they, they're there for them regardless of the family's ability to pay. So we really thank them for what they do. Besides playing the bagpipes, which and I love. And they play the bagpipes. <laughs> they Are you do talking that about too. a multifaceted organization? Yes. They look fantastic. Oh. Yeah, so much for pacing. We got the Lions Club coming right up on the back of the <laughs> yeah. The yes. Shrine Highlanders. And they have, I wonder if our Romies met uh, the Lions Club mascot. Um, the Lions Club will be celebrating their 90th year of, ex in, of existence later this year. And it's part of the Lions, um, the Lions Interna International is the world's largest service organization with over 1.3 million members in over 260 countries. What do you think? Lions mascot square off against Romy later? No, no? they okay. love each other. Oh, fine, okay. All right. <laughs> Speaking... Romy loves every everyone. So. 
I'm sure Romy will be really excited <laughs> to see that lion. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we hope so, yes. <laughs> I don't know if the lion will be excited to see Romy, but... Okay, now we have always a crowd favorite, the Royal Oak, I'm oh, sorry, the Oakland County Sheriff's Department is uh, here. Yes. Uh, they brought a number of uh, vehicles, including a rescue marine unit, a motor unit, and various motorcycles and cars. Yeah, these and motorcycle guys may be a little nervous. And, of course, behind the Dodge Challenger, the one and only yes. Sheriff Michael Bouchard getting out of bed on a Monday morning. <laughs> there he is. Yes. yes, Michael, it's good to be here. Every year, we will see Every him year. at Beverly Hills later. He's got about yes. three or three other parades he does. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's one of the best. Yeah. This is really fun. And he's got his uh, team throwing out frisbees and giving kids uh, sheriff badges. So it's always fun. One time, you're not making any arrests out here, are you? <laughs> now we prefer not to, if if we can avoid that. Um, you know, sort of a, a solemn day here to honor the veterans, not make arrests. Yeah. This is their. Did who who knew they had a marine unit? Yeah, they're looking for a body of water to put that thing in right <laughs> yes. now. Um, I know <laughs> that looks really. Uh, fun about right now. Yeah, that would be great. This heat, yeah. That's not really a pleasure boat as oh, much I'm, as it is a service oh, boat. Yes, it. I'm afraid you, you know, if you want, want to get a ride on that, you probably did something wrong. Uh, we, I think they just are sneaking by. There we go. That's the Royal Oak uh, Memorial Society. And they have a very, very special rider in the car today, Dorothy Ross. She's a long, long time member of the Royal Oak Memorial Society. And the Royal Oak Memorial Society does such great work. They clean all the um, veterans' graves at our Royal Oak cemeteries and put on services. They're fantastic. <laughs> and they're followed by the Royal Oak Optimist Club. And what do you think the purpose of the Optimist Club is? I don't know, develop optimism as a philosophy <laughs> of life? You're exactly right. You must have been studying up on that. I, I just guessed. They are so involved in our community. So, so involved. They're everywhere. And they're really, um, their mission is to aid and encourage youth to be interested in service too. And they do a good job. And yeah, they try to bring out the best in kids by yep. providing hope and a positive vision. And they're followed by the uh, Boys and Girls Club of Oakland and Macomb County's bus. And we have here Bob Smith. He's a Clawson resident and a Vietnam vet. We're happy to have Bob here. That's a pretty sharp car. I don't know my cars. What is that? It's, it's Chevy Malibu. Woo! Yeah, I'm going to guess somewhere in the 70s there. Looks maybe fantastic. even late 60s. It's got historical plates on it. We yeah. have uh, the uh, Bob Smith is followed by the Royal Oak Women's Club. They have more than 100 members. Uh, they've been in service here in Royal Oak for 115 years. Before before Royal Oak was even a city. Yeah, and you know, when I started doing these parades, these, these organizations were in business for 80 years, 70, 80, 90 years. Now they're up to 115 years of service to Royal Oak. Oh, we have another fan favorite coming up here. I see director Keith Corrick here. Uh, it's the Royal Oak Middle School Marching Band. Should we give them a listen? I think we should. They sound great.
I've messed up my notes here on the marching band, but I'm counting like 18 rows of seven. So do the math really quick. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> math is hard. <laughs> but that's a lot of kids. A bunch. That's a bunch. Can we get back with a bunch? And they look great. And their school colors with their red shirts on. Just like they work at Target. No, they do not. They do not work at Target. Okay. The people at Target look like they're Royal Oak Middle School <laughs> Is that what it is? Okay. I think that must be what it is. And they're followed by what was formerly known as the Royal Oak Youth Soccer Association is now the Royal Oak Football Club. That's right. They've been serving the community for 40 years as a nonprofit. The Royal Oak Football Club is the largest club in the state of Michigan, providing a recreational program as well as premier program. Royal Oak FC has over 2,000 players participating each season in the program. And the mission of the program is to enable players to learn the game of soccer as a fun and stimulating, in a fun and stimulating environment. There are indeed a lot of them. Oh, it looks like we're followed by one of our uh, a scouting troop. Yeah, we got Daisy Troop 76743. They're from uh, Keller, Upton, and Oak Ridge School. And they are adorable. Looks like they're joined by their parents and other family members and friends. We got Troy in the house. Uh, this is Bernard, Bernard Elementary in Troy, Troop 76588. And they are followed by some Cub Scouts. That's Pack 1631 from Oak Ridge here in Royal Oak. It's their second year here in the Memorial Day Parade. We're glad to have them back. Cub Scouts, Cub Scouts, and more Cub Scouts. This next one's important. 1634 from Shrine, where my son attends the high school. Yeah, these kids do a lot of service projects. Uh, they've participated in food drives, clothing drives, uh, preparing meals for the warming shelter. Great job. Okay. The shot of the Cub Scouts. Okay. Like How about a Girl Scout cookie? <laughs> yes. We followed by. Uh, yeah, that's 76201. Oh, girl, that's a combined Girl Scout and Boy Scout troop. Is she, is she holding a giant box of cookies? They're the s'mores there, ones. There it is. You know, what the s'mores that? ones. There's a lot of controversy. They, oh, they yeah, come up with two different, flavors, two different styles of Girl Scout s'mores cookies, depending on what part of the country you're in. Check it out. Good stuff. I hear some drumming, and that, was, that sound is coming from the Avengers Youth Mentoring Organization drum line. They're composed of both uh, male, and male and female participants between the ages of 9 and 16. They've been playing together for, it looks like, about two years under the direction of Mr. Matthew Medlock Sr. Yeah, they've played for uh, the Pistons games and other drum exhibitions, fashion shows, community events. And they've been playing here in the Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade since 2016. We're glad to have them back year after year. And following them, we have the Royal Oak Animal Shelter. You see the little doggies. Well, yes, and I understand that these are uh, recent dogs that have been adopted through the um, animal shelter. So these are some of our success stories. Yeah, they're right over there by Matthews Hargraves uh, off 12 Mile Road. 
Yes, and they always have a number of dogs and cats uh, looking for good homes. Now we have uh, Oakland County Prosecutor Jessica Cooper. I, she's in there somewhere. She's in there somewhere. I don't she's see not, her. She jumped out of her car. There's her uh, her Thunderbird. Somebody and, had to look under course, that uh, that that rag top. Maybe she got buried under there. Yeah. It's so hot. I hope she's I hope she's doing okay. Okay, and it looks like I see the Levin family coming up. Uh, Sander Levin. Now this is making me um, a bit nostalgic because I believe Sander Levin is uh, announced his retirement, correct? He has. So this will be his last Memorial Day parade. He was first elected to Congress in 1982. And of course, his brother Carl, who's been in the parade many times before, um, represented Michigan on the United States Senate from 1979 to 2015. That makes them the longest uh, serving elected sibling team in congressional history. That and they awesome. represent Royal Oak. And they've been at the Royal Oak Parade every year. They really every have. year. He, every he year. and Carl, they always had their tiger hats on. Or and, he's, and he looks fantastic. He and really he does. He does a good job, in the, even in this heat. <laughs> We love the float, Congressman. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> the Congressman is asking us how we like to float. Yep, it's in the form of a Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> we love those too. Okay, it was a little out of order here. We have coming up Senator, uh, State Senator Marley Nolenberg. Yes, Marty's 13th District Senator. He's been- There's Marty. There he is, yes, doing he's, his thing. Yeah, he's fantastic. Uh, Everybody loves Marty. Um, Good guy. He's been an activist and leader in Oban County for decades. Um, and he, uh, he does a lot of uh, volunteering and uh, work for the Deaf Community Action Net Network Board. That's hard to say, but he does that. And he's followed by, um, who's this guy? We know this guy. I, I, we know that guy. <laughs> he's been around a few he's, years. Yes. This, of course, is state, uh, state Rep. Jim Ellison, who was the longest serving mayor of Royal Oak. So um, we know great? Jim, he does great work. He's just a rookie there in Lansing, but he's already accomplished a lot of great things. And he's fo the, they're followed by the Wahoo Baseball Club of Royal Oak. Um, they, they play 1860s style baseball. I guess the rule, they, one of the rules of that type of baseball is no gloves. No gloves. That's no the way gloves. it was in the 1860s. Although that league formed in the uh, 2004, they oh. played at Star JC Park. And we have, uh, we, we're quickly walking by there, I think we, they're out of camera view now. That was North Oaks Dental. And now we have uh, St. Paul Lutheran Church. Um, they are a uh, church and school. And they uh, are a K through eight school, uh, and they're located right here in downtown Royal Oak. So you want to say hi to our friends from St. Paul? There they are. And behind them, we've got the drum messengers. They're here every year. They are. Mark, uh, Mike Renner, he's an Army vet, along with his nephew, Rob Schneider. They're honored to march once again here in their hometown of Royal Oak. And there they are, both active percussionists and a variety of musical groups seen and heard in the community this summer with the Music Messengers. And they're followed by a 1978 Ford fire truck pumper that served in the town of Sedan, Kansas for many years. But now it's here in Royal Oak. The truck has a nickname, which yes. is, what is that? Tornado Alley. Tornado Alley. Because of course, from Kansas. That makes sense. It's right there in the heart of right. Tornado Alley. And now we have, of course, Here's another my favorite, crowd favorite. The Jeep Wranglers. <laughs> the Jeep Wranglers. This is good stuff. What, what do you know about the Wicked Jeeps? Well, they were uh, formed in 2015, so not too long ago, but they, uh, the Wicked Jeeps of Southeast Michigan set out to provide a family friendly place where like minded Jeepers can get together and share their love of Jeeps, whether it be crawling the malls or bouncing off rocks at all points in between. 
the they, organization, they accept and welcome all models of Jeeps. They're a Jeep club, not a 4x4 club. So they have events and gatherings that cater to all types of Jeepers. Oh, my goodness. you got to love that. Oh. <laughs> got to love it. Yeah, yeah. I often wonder what I, that does where, to the suspension. Where are the Royal Oak Police? I think I, you get a ticket <laughs> you for that. I don't you think you can do that, that, that on Main Street. 145 <laughs> on a Saturday morning, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah, no, that's a lot of fun. And it is permitted on this day, this yes, special day. We, they'll look the other way a little bit. The police were at the beginning of the parade, so we they don't know yeah. what's going on back here. <laughs> no, actually, the Royal Oak Police work, they're one of the groups that work really hard on this uh, parade, and they were up bright and early, closing down all the roads and trying to make this as safe as possible, but apparently... <laughs> Apparently, some people just like to push the rules a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do they undo yeah, that mess? They're locked. <laughs> That's it. That's. Oh my goodness! What happened? Okay. okay. I, you know, I have a feeling they've done this before. Oh, okay. This does not look like their first time. It wasn't like a little. Ooh. Ooh. Are you? Sh uh oh. Uh oh. Something went crunch. Oops. <laughs> Ah, those Jeeps are no worse <laughs> for the wear. Yeah, that's what we have insurance for. Although uh, I don't know if their insurance company knows they're doing that. <laughs> but who knew there were the, that many types of Jeeps? That's, I suppose that's offensive to people that own Jeeps. And you know, they got a thing where you're supposed to wave, you know that part, right? Yes. If you have a Jeep, so got, you know. Oh, and you is stop that a at thing? a light. If, uh -huh, if yeah. you wave the other, oh, okay. Yep, yep, it's like a little cult, you know, kind of deal. If you've ever gone down to Toledo, though, to see that Jeep plant, it is awesome. Is it, it really? It is amazing. It's a city under one roof, and they're just building Jeeps in there. Well, there's... Good gosh. I need to know, learn more about Jeeps, because I'm, like, seeing every color. I'm seeing, like, multiple styles. Who knew? Yep, and this new 2018 Jeep Wrangler has received rave reviews. I mean, the industry loves it. The Jeep lovers love it. Everything thing about that new model of Jeep has been off the charts with positivity. And I think the Optimus Club should get involved in the new Jeep, actually. <laughs> well, I, you know, I was just, I was just going to say, I just noticed that people that ride in Jeeps also look extremely happy. It must be like They're a always super, smiling. super, super fun ride. Absolutely. Yep. Driving's an adventure. It's made to be enjoyed. They just get together and they they talk about Jeeps. And they drive their Jeeps. It's fun. There's a thought. We just had a great suggestion from the truck that next year we do this parade out at Silver Lake. Our, our uh, next unit um, is, is, uh, is quite different. Um, the, the next unit is, uh, on a more serious note, is Moms De Demand Action for Gun Sense in America. It's a nonpartisan grassroots movement of uh, Americans demanding common sense solutions to gun violence that endangers children. And they were um, founded the day after the Sandy Hook shooting. Yeah, it's a bit of a somber note, but it's an important one that we need to consider, that's for sure. Yeah, they advocate for stronger laws uh, relative to guns and policies that will reduce violence and save lives. They work in many states across the country with survivors, mayors, law enforcement officers, faith leaders, teachers, doctors, all kinds of Americans who know there's more we can do to prevent gun and violence. And it looks like we have the Elks here. The Elks is uh, another uh, one of those uh, service clubs or uh, we have here in the United States. The Elks um, have nearly million members um, uh, in our, their organization is 141 years old. Uh, they have a network across the country of uh, nearly 2,000 2, lodges. And here in Royal Oak, of course, they're located at uh, 4th Street near the service drive. And they are fo followed by Harmony's Acre, Harmony Acres, which yeah. is an award-winning equestrian unit that has ridden in 600 of the Midwest's largest parades. And those are some beautiful, beautiful horses. 
Yep, they have therapy mounds. That's very important. I know uh, that's a big deal for the uh, for people recovering from illnesses and diseases. And they they use the horses actually. I was I got into this a little bit recently. They help people actually heal. And they're, oh. they're very therapeutic uh, for cancer patients. People going through chemotherapy, things of that nature, is fantastic. Well, they look beautiful. The horses are dressed in their fancy patriotic tack and costumes today. And looks like the Elks are followed by the Royal Oak Titans. Yep, the, Ro the Royal Oak Titans. How about that? They've got uh, boys and girls ages 5 to 13 participating in youth football. Remember youth they were the Chargers and yes, they were the Chiefs, exactly. right? exactly. And everything's different now because now we have two kinds of football. Right, <laughs> yes. So this is American-style football. And they've brought uh, their cheer team with them, too. Well, Judy, it seems like it goes this way every year. It starts and then it's over just that quickly. Yeah. So, but one thing we do know, we enjoy bringing this parade to everyone and honoring the veterans. That's really what we're here for, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It, it's a, it's a fest. It's festive and it's and it's uh, entertaining. But the main purpose really is to honor those that gave their lives. Uh, yeah, it's very important. And, you know, if you see a service member in uniform, why not take a second and thank them? Because it's not just them. It's their family members, too, right. who sacrifice. And they go through these moves away and so forth. And periods of time, they always put their lives in line uh, for our freedoms, the ones we enjoy so we can have parades and, and beautiful days yeah. and weekends like this with our family. Yeah, it's important to let them know that we will never forget. Absolutely. We never will. So with that... Judy, another success with yes. us. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, you and Royal Oak, we appreciate it bringing you the opportunity to see this parade, 2018 Royal Oak Memorial Day Parade. Hopefully you can join us next year when we do it all again. All right, till then. And till then, thank you. Happy Memorial Day.